is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Let my people go. The Plagues and the Passover. Let's read. Moses and Aaron told Pharaoh, The God of the Israelites says you must let the people go free, otherwise bad things will happen to you. But Pharaoh would not listen. So Moses and Aaron told Pharaoh that God of Israelites said you must let the Israel people go free. But Pharaoh didn't listen. <laughs> So God turned the water in Egypt into blood. No one could drink it. Then he filled the Egyptian houses with frogs. Frogs were everywhere. Still, Pharaoh would not listen. So God turned the water in Egypt into blood. Oh, so no one could drink it. And then there's frogs in everywhere. Oh. It only happened in the Egypt, not where the Israel is there. So God filled the skies of Egypt with grain. They covered the people like dust. Then he struck the land of Israel. Uh, in his jeep, but fails. So, Pharaoh would not listen. So, God filled the skies with Jane, and then he stuck and uh, struck the land of Israel with flies. But still, Pharaoh would not listen. Question. Pharaoh let God's people go after all of the water in Egypt was turned to blood. False. Pharaoh didn't let God's people after all the water uh, turn it into blood. So God killed the animals of Egypt, horses, donkeys, camels, sheep, cows, and goats all died. Then he covered the Egyptian people with sorcerers. So power would not listen. So God killed the animal of Egypt, but Pharaoh didn't listen to God, so God covered the Egyptian people with sources. God 
God sent a hail to crush the crops of Egypt. The barley and fruit lands were destroyed. Then he sent locusts to eat what food remained. So Paro would not listen. So God sent hail to crush the crops of Egypt. Then he sent the locusts to eat the foods what uh, what was left over. So God sent darkness over the land, but again, power would not listen. God said, I will kill every firstborn son in Egypt, and all the firstborn at a firstborn of the animals. So God sent darkness over the land. But again, Paro would not listen. So God said, I will kill every firstborn son in Egypt. And, and all the firstborn of the animals. Let's see what happens. Question, what happened to the Egypt the first time Paro would not let the Israelites go? Number one, the crops. Number two, uh, the flies. Number three, the water turned into the blood. Number three was the correct answer. My people must kill a lamb, eat it, and put its blood on their doorpost. We'll see the blood as pass over their house. Those children will not die. So God said, My people must kill a lamb and eat and put its blood on the doorpost. Then God said, I will see the blood and pass over the house, and those children will die. Call this Passover and always remember it. The Israelites obeyed God, but the Egyptian firstborn son died. Even the Pharaoh's son, finally Pharaoh's listened, who let the Israelites go. So God said, "You'll call this Passover, and you have to always remember it." So the Israelites' firstborn son was alive, but all the Egyptians' firstborn son died, even the Pharaoh's son. So Pharaoh finally let him go, let the Israelites go. Bad things happened to Egypt because Pharaoh would not let the God's people go. True. We have to obey God. Yesterday I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? The next time I'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye.